everybody. We are out running Sunday morning errands. It's Sunday morning, September 23rd, my daughter's birthday. To everybody say happy birthday, Rebecca. Happy we birthday, came, Rebecca. Yeah, we came out of the Best Buy store after spending a whole bunch of money to this. One of them is mine, one of them is not. <laughs> Interesting. Hey everybody, it is Monday, September 24th, and it is already well into the early evening, late afternoon. It's 4.44 p.m. I spent most of the morning um, getting uh, some more of the house cleaned and the bug people were by again to help me out with that. Um, nothing serious. I mean, it's a brand new house that was vacant a lot before and we're in the Pacific Northwest near a uh, wooded strip slash forested area. And so yeah, think bugs are a thing. They're just gonna be a thing. So we have regular bug service. We had them in San Jose too, so, you know, different kind of bugs, different location. Um, I need to go upstairs and do something with the spare room that has all the art supplies in it. I really want to get stuff out of boxes, get them stacked, and put in a way that it's going to be um, easier to create things when I can um, from that space, but also easier to load the new art room when it's ready. I just can't live with the stuff in boxes. I'm just dreading tackling said boxes because the only other room in the house that's been harder to unpack was the kitchen. And I hated doing that room. I really hated doing that room. Oh yeah, yeah. All right, so let's go upstairs, I guess. I have like an hour before the husband gets home from work or so. And yeah, I guess I better go get something done. <laughs> All right, I'll be back. Since the vlog and the moving diaries have sort of merged together, I will, I'm not going to film a regular vlog for a while. We're only going to do the moving diaries. And, wow. Moving is just not for the faint of heart. I'm going to turn the lights off as much as I can. This is a big house. uses a lot of electricity. Ah, anyway. Moving is not for the faint of heart. And I don't know what is more stressful the packing up of your old space and sending it off on a truck, whether you're driving it or somebody else's, or the recreation of said new space. I don't know which is harder. They're both difficult. And the unpacking is just, I think for me it's the most difficult because it's like the last thing. And it, you just, you get to the point where you're so stressed out, you just don't want to be bothered unpacking anything. I literally wanted to chuck stuff off the truck or throw my phone out the window at one point. I just, it was that bad. So if you feel that way and you're going through a move, I feel ya. I'm right there with ya. So anyway, let's head upstairs. And I swear this house has so many freaking light switches. Oh my God, I love the new house. There are so many light switches and I don't know what they go to. I <laughs> just spend, I must spend a half an hour a day flicking switches. It's ridiculous. Need to find my labeler. Okay. So I got seven or eight boxes unpacked-ish. A bunch of empty cabinet things unwrapped. That was part of what I did. And some of these wire shelves, I got two of them put together. A black one and a turquoise one. The black ones I think might be on their last leg. So I'd like to replace them with the turquoise ones anyway. So I'll have to check the Target website and see if they could still have those. Anyway. That's where the turquoise one is from, by the way. It's from Target. Um, so, yeah. So, I found a few things, and I unpacked a few things. I've got a lot more to do, because I need to make the room look more like this and less like that. Yeah. Because it's going to be a while, not only at least a two or three weeks before the floor gets in in the other room, um, but longer than that, until I get new replacement storage furniture, um, some of what I had in the other room didn't make it uh, to the new studio um, with intention. It was given away. It didn't break. So, and some, like my desk, <laughs> that's my desk. It's got to be put back together. So, in the meantime, I can't deal with this. It's got to go. <laughs> going to be leaving to come home shortly, and yeah, I got to clear this out of the walkway. <laughs> Oops. All right, that's it for now. I'll be back. Hey guys, it is Wednesday morning, the 26th of September, 
7.47 a.m. I only know that because I'm in front of the iPad. I think I forgot to film anything for the vlog and moving diaries yesterday. <laughs> I don't think I filmed anything. <coughs> Things have just become a whirlwind vortex of moving boxes and unpacking moving boxes and contractors and legal people and realtors and so we've gotten past the physical move part and getting the new house and we're in the new house although I'm still unpacking boxes but now we have the selling the old house part so um yeah that's a thing <sighs> anyway so I am working hard to try to unpack the art room, storage room boxes so that when the art room proper is got its new floor um, and I get a couple of cabinets in there, I can start pulling things in. It'll be easier. And plus, uh, to be honest, I'm just tired of looking at the boxes. And if I want to create something in the interim um, up there on a desk or on the floor or down here at the dining room table I can find stuff sort of so yeah so we'll be going back up there hopefully unpacking the rest of the boxes that are up there there's probably 12 to 15 more boxes that I've got to unpack so um, I want to get that done, try to get that done today so that's that's my thing I'm going to have some more coffee first and some breakfast, and then we'll get started. Good evening, everybody. It's still Wednesday. The tw What is it? The 26th? 20, something like that. 26th. Yeah, anyway. I got all of the rest of the art room, some art supply room boxes unpacked, except for four kind of biggish boxes that have fabric in them. They can just wait. We're out taking an evening stroll after dinner. We just walked by a neighbor who is in his kitchen with his shirt off and the blinds open. I'm sure that's all it is, but it kind of looked like he was cooking dinner naked, which is no problem if that's what he wants to do. But um, you should probably close the blinds. We also Just... found two deer. Oh yeah, we saw two deer crossing the street up by the school, mm -hmm. which was pretty cool. Right around the corner from us. And earlier today, found a little garter snake out on the lane, which we figured out was dead. Poor little snakey. I'll put a picture here somewhere. Cindy Utter, don't look. It was cute. It was, yeah, he was, was pretty. It was cute. But black was and dead. red little garter snake, little He's ribbon dead. snake. Yeah. Anyway, that's it for the moment. I forgot my inhaler. Nobody yell at me, I know. It was stupid. Anyway, we're headed back to the house. I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. It's Thursday morning. Uh. September 27th, I had to count. I have no idea what time it is. <laughs> I think it's just before 10 a.m. That's as close as I can get you. Um, the little baby garter snake that I found yesterday is dead. We discovered last night. Poor little guy. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go out and run errands, but first I'm gonna go walk down to the little mailbox and drop off my voter registration for my new state. So yeah, I'll take you with me. I'll be back. Okay, so my new area where I live in doesn't have a Hobby Lobby close by, but they do have a Dick Blick that's not too far away. Actually, I think it's about the same distance time-wise, travel-wise from here as Hobby Lobby was to the old house. I don't know if that's good or bad. It might be bad. Um, and while I'm not ready to um, do art necessarily in the art room proper, I do want to hit the ground running as soon as I am ready, so there are a couple of things that I want. So I think I'm going to start with Dick Blick and then maybe there's a Joanne Fabrics that's actually here in town and then I have to go to the grocery store, so like Safeway or Fred Meyer. I need some grocery and some hardware and cleaning supplies. I probably can get most of it at Fred Meyer, which is convenient. Um, yeah, so I think that's the plan. So let's get started.
Hey, <laughs> hey guys, uh, it is Friday morning, uh, the 28th of September, 9 a.m. Don't get all excited. I'm in front of the computer. <laughs> um, <clears throat> we've already had an interesting start to the day. So the old owners, um, let's see, how much do I want to say? <laughs> Yeah, I'm not going to say anything. Let's just say there was an incident here at the house, not an emergency. Everything's fine, but it woke us up really early this morning. Uh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, so it's all taken care of. My husband is off to go get his car registered and take his driving test. And um, I'm upstairs, obviously, if you see the kind of empty room behind me. Um, downloading video from... Uh, I, I should say vlog footage from the week of the 18th. Um, the vlog and the moving diaries have sort of merged a little bit, which I kind of expected to have happen. So we won't be filming proper vlogs for a while. I'm going to film one um, video and um, under the moving diaries. And um, Anyway, there's been a lot of episodes, and uh, as of today, I think the last episode aired this morning. So this will be, that I'm editing today, it will be episode 7, and what you're seeing right now, what I'm filming, will be episode 8. Um, today we're getting some more deliveries, and hopefully I'm getting somebody to pick up some more moving boxes. Um, hopefully this weekend... Um, the flooring gets delivered, hopefully, for this room. Maybe. I haven't got any calls about it, so I'm anticipating maybe it not happening until next week. I don't know. Um, I have yet to eat my breakfast. I have a banana and a perfect bar. I'm addicted to perfect bars. I haven't tried this flavor yet, but I like the peanut butter, and they also have one that's blueberry, and I love them. They're all peanut butter based. Or nut, I should say nut based. This one I actually think is walnut based. Well, maybe walnut and peanut butter. Um, and I'm working on my cup of coffee. <laughs> that's all I can tell you right now. All right, that's it for the moment. I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday, September 29th, 9.56 a.m. Don't get excited. Good I only, morning. Good morning. I only know that because it's Fred's birthday. So everybody tell him happy birthday. Happy birthday, Fred. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, leave it in the comments below. I'll make sure he reads all your comments. And if I can get him to, I'll get him to reply to. Okay, I'll get um, him to reply. Um, anyway, we are headed off on a little adventure today. We're going to head towards the coast and probably stop at the Tillamook Creamery, which is some place we like to stop every time we um, came up to visit Oregon in the past. Mm -hmm. Now we're living yep. here, so um, yeah, we're Try. definitely going to go there. And I don't know what we're going to get up to, but we'll see. We'll take you with us. We'll be back. guys we are out at Cape in Cape Mears and on the coast of Oregon um, spending Fred's birthday doing fun stuff that he wants to do and uh, he's freezing <laughs> he doesn't have a thick enough sweatshirt on and it's damp we're waiting for the lighthouse to open for a tour um, and the whole time he's complaining about how cold he is I'm thinking I might be meant for Oregon weather I'm not cold <laughs> at all and I don't have a thick sweatshirt on it's a very thin this is just like t-shirt material <laughs> I don't know what that says about me <laughs> anyway we're enjoying the beautiful view which you just saw and uh, yeah it's gonna be a lot of fun I'll be back
Hey guys. So I hope you've had a great time with us this week exploring our new house and our new neighborhood. Um, we went out celebrating Fred's birthday today and we drove all over the place and went to the coast to the Tillamook Cheese Factory, had dinner on the way back at Camp 18. Um, I got some really great pictures. I'm going to um, include them here in this um, episode for you all. I also thought of a project to do um, some of which will be filmed for YouTube, some of which may be all over on Patreon, which I'm thinking about doing um, to generate some income, to be honest. <sighs> Let me know what you all think about that. Um, what else? I've gotten some negative comments on a couple of old videos from one particular channel, and I have deleted said comments. So just FYI, anybody who leaves negative comments on my channel that are unjustified, um, or just plain mean they get deleted. I don't I'm not gonna respond. I'm not gonna go there I'm not gonna deal with it. I'm just gonna they're just deleted. If you don't like my channel unsubscribe <laughs> um, Hopefully you don't unsubscribe, but um, Yeah, I'm just done with that. So anyway um, If you have any questions comments or concerns leave, leave them below of course always I will try to include any relevant links for this week's episode and um don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the little bell no, uh, icon if you want notifications on new videos when they come out. That being said, YouTube is being kind of weird, and even I am not getting uh, notification of all the new videos for the people I subscribe to, so if you're not getting them, it's not just you. Anyway, that's it for this week. I will be back next week. I hope you've had a good one. Don't forget to go out and do something nice for yourself and maybe somebody else. You deserve it, and so do they. That's it. Talk to you later. Bye, guys.